Hey everybody, this is Matt Benarski and this is your Vlog of the Week. This is your Vlog of the Week. First of all, Happy Easter. I know it just passed, but I hope you guys enjoyed a wonderful Easter weekend. So this week, let's talk about travel. I love traveling. I love seeing different parts of the world and integrating myself in different cultures. Now, I've traveled to, look, I don't want to say these countries to brag, but I think you'd find it interesting, right? Other than my native US, I've been to Canada, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Brazil, England, France, Germany, Amsterdam, Austria, Italy, Spain, Czech Republic, and Switzerland. And each country has something unique and beautiful to offer. It's truly great seeing how this world varies. A few countries that I'd like to visit would be Japan, Bhutan, and New Zealand. Japan seems like this cool combination of the future and the past, and it seems like a very interesting and beautiful country. To me, Bhutan is quite a scenic and undiscovered country with very interesting tourism and governance policies. Go look it up. And New Zealand, I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings, and that's where it was filmed. I know that's cliche, but still, I'd love to see Hobbiton. Now, people travel for a variety of reasons. It could be for the experience of novelty and adventure. It could be for a specific purpose, like education or service. And it can also be for escape. But with this last one, I want to advise against it. I believe in that famous quote, and I don't remember exactly who first said it. Wherever you go, there you are. If you go to one country to escape how you're feeling, it's a good chance you'll end up feeling the same way. Travel is great, but you can't really travel away from yourself. Another random topic. Okay, random topic. This one's awesome flying cars. The reason I bring this up is that recently I found an article on CNN.com that uh, a prototype for a car recently flew for eight minutes. Now this car is okay for driving on the road, but it also completed a flight. This is pretty awesome. Who knows, in one, two, three years, what if people are actually flying cars and then driving them and then flying them and then driving them? Who knows, maybe by 2015, we'll be flying cars just like they did in Back to the Future 2. I know I mentioned that movie before, but I'm really intrigued to compare the 2015 of that movie with the 2015 we're actually going to have. Now, the bad part is, is it uses gasoline to fly, so that would not be good for the environment. But hopefully, they can rectify that before it's made available to the public. Word of the Week For Word of the Week, why don't we go with ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means appearing all over the place, pretty much everywhere at the same time. For instance, a lot of Facebook memes are seemingly ubiquitous, popping up on everybody's newsfeed. Or political news is ubiquitous. You can't turn on the internet or the TV without seeing something about it. It's also a very fun word to say. Ubiquitous. 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 YouTube accolades. Okay, YouTube accolades, I want to bring up to you Miss Mia 51. Miss Mia is a young, talented YouTube artist, but also one of the kindest YouTubers I've ever connected with. Aside from providing the YouTube community with her great performances, she's very nice and encouraging with her comments. So I'll put the link down below in the description box. Go stop by her channel, uh, tell her I sent you, and I hope you enjoy it. Shout out! Once again, we've arrived at shout outs. Let's go with three more. Thank you to those people for their support. Where have you traveled to? Where would you like to travel to? Let me know in the comments. And of course, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.